they finally changed the name of the crypto. I mean, the stable center. It's kind of sad. Uh, <coughs> is it? What does it look like? They got their little lion head up there. Uh, yeah, they did put it up, or they did it. Uh, last time I saw it, it had said nothing. It was just the center. <laughs> but they got, they got it on the top. But uh, I don't know. I don't see the uh, the side where it says staples. Yeah, I watched a documentary last night on not last got? night about. You remember there was a fight in 2004 between. What was it the Pistons and uh, I don't know whatever team we're on our test was on, and like Pacers. basically like yeah everyone was like fighting the fans. Yeah, so it's the malice in the palace, big one. The malice in the palace. I had never heard of that before. I was like, damn, this is crazy. Wish I was there so I can get some punches in. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the uh, the distributor of the the documentary? Uh, it was on Netflix. Was it on uh, Netflix? I think it was on Netflix. But I was like, damn, they, they, they literally take anything and make it just a, a two-hour documentary that was like a movie. That is one of the, like, the biggest like, po-faws in, in sports. But like what they talk about. What was the, uh, the first, second, third act? I didn't get to the third act, but um, they, were, they had everybody that was like, involved, and they interviewed them. So they had like fans that were there. Like the guy that like, threw one of the first punches, he was there. Um, they interviewed the players, the coaches. They were all like, the the big storyline was um, how the media immediately like turned on the players and said that the players instigated it. Yeah, which may or may not have been true, but like there was no, there was definitely no two sides to the story. Even though there was footage of like people throwing stuff at the players and like starting the whole because. I don't know if you remember, but like what made the thing go on was I guess there was um, a kerfuffle on the court. And one of the players was like, the fans don't know that like all of us are like friends. So like if we get into a disagreement, it's not real fighting. And like no one wants to fight because like we get paid a lot. So there was like a little kerfuffle and the, 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 the crowd started getting riled up and Ron Artest, like he was laying down on the scoreboard table or something mm -hmm. which was like super not cool <laughs> but while he was laying on there somebody threw like i don't know a beer or something at him yeah. and then he like went into beast mode and like ran into the stands like <laughs> skipping six rows at a time <laughs> per yeah. step and then just started beating down on some guy and then like that's when sh shit just went wild and i'm thinking to myself like what if i had been at that game like as a child like what what, what like I probably would have fucked walk away from the epicenter of punches of yeah. six, seven dudes. Imagine just like a, an NBA player just like jumps on you and starts wailing on you. That is, they're big, man. They're I'm a like, tall guy and they're all tall. Like I'm the smallest person in the NBA. It's like peak athleticism. <laughs> <Just> like <laughs> literally, really... literally peak human right there. <laughs> just going from the, from the top to the bottom of just, you look I... like you might've been throwing a beer. I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, that was fun.